Hello, my friends. If you were involved in trying to figure out that mystery when the Black Hawk Rock video was out, you remember there were some trees that were broken off about halfway up and then had branches going off to the side. Well, my idea about it, my hypothesis, is that it wasn't dinosaurs, which was a really good guess, <laughs> but that there was a storm at some point that came through strong enough to break those trees at that level. Now, when you see trees that are broken in half, halfway up, you know, there's a really strong storm that came through that was strong enough to break living trees. Usually trees are going to be breaking when they're rotted in an area, but these were all in the same height. So, and they all seem to be about the same age of trees. So probably what we had is that strong wind that came through, broke those off, and then those trees in order to survive, used some branches that were going off and made those into the new main area of the tree, which would continue to grow upwards towards the canopy and get light. I was talking with a friend the other day about my work doing these videos and that a huge part of my work means that I really try to walk my talk. That means daily meditation, it means eating a good diet, it means continuing to explore my own mentality and try to learn new ways to evolve myself. It means when I find myself reactive, trying to move into response instead. It means keeping up with all my wilderness skills. There's a lot to it. And my life revolves in many ways around upkeeping that skill set, that mental, emotional, and physical skill set. Now, sometimes I don't walk my talk. And I look and I say, wow, Ken, you could have taken your own advice. And I'm thinking of some videos where I've said, we really have to watch our media intake. Well, here's the thing. The, the day after the election was called, I found myself coming back to the computer again and again and again that day. And I was using the context of editing videos and trying to get some work done, but, but I kept coming back and truth be told, I was going off to different news sources. My concern was that a fair amount of people had been talking about civil unrest and I wanted to be prepared for any kind of unrest that might occur. Now, my neighbors, very interesting to me because they were so unconcerned with the election or civil unrest or all of that stuff that they did not even tune into the news. They didn't know what was going on with the presidential election. They were just doing their own thing. They were kind of in the other extreme from where I was. And I'll be talking about where we could meet in the middle. But in that extreme, it was very interesting to me because I was very concerned. I was watching for something that never happened. In other words, I was living largely in other people's fantasy lands because there are YouTubers and newscasters and all these people saying, boy, as soon as that's announced, there's going to be some major civil unrest. And I was living in their fantasy world. And you know what? I started to think, gosh, is that even a very fun fantasy world to live in? I mean, not really. If I'm going to choose somebody's fantasy world to live in besides my own, maybe I can make it a little more fun. That's just an aside. So on this other extreme, my friends were going about their daily life, enjoying their life, and had none of these concerns that I did dwelling in my fantasy world. This brings up that there is a spectrum that we can exist on. And on that day, they were on one spectrum, blissfully, you might say blissfully ignorant, but actually there was nothing going on which actually needed their attention. And on this side, me, completely unblissfully living in somebody else's fantasy world. The day after this happened, I was preparing breakfast for the family. And I looked around myself and I thought, wow, yesterday I spent a lot of mental, 
emotional and physical energy and time sitting there in front of the computer reading people's ideas and this little news report and that little news report which added up to essentially no enrichment for my life i missed so many conversations i could have had with rebecca i missed so many experiences i could have had with my children i missed so many opportunities for maybe going and working out going out and practicing some skills doing any of those things that when i say i walk my talk are supposed to be a important part of my day but instead i chose what i would say in the past would have been a route to anxiety for me i chose to tune in to those news sources which were largely proven to be fantasy sources and as i looked around myself at breakfast i thought what if i had chosen differently i would have had a very different day yesterday i would feel different today now all bad things come with a good because this video wouldn't be being made if i hadn't had that experience but here's where it led me it led me to thinking that a a news program draws us in it draws us in by triggering some brain chemicals usually fear based and gets me coming back for more and more and more but what if i consciously made the decision to choose into a different news program and i'm not talking about the good news network which you've heard me promote in the past but i'm talking about the news program of my life using my neighbors and their albeit perhaps extreme example as my guide what if i saw the primary news program that i tune into being rebecca the expressions on her face the words that come from her mouth the emotional state of my girls so i can help them through some tough stuff or celebrate some victory that they're having what if i was tuned into that news program the news program of my life now our modern day thinking can scream out against this and say well we've got to be informed that's more important if everybody's just insulated in themselves then pff, what would our world be like but there's another perspective to that it's probably good to be informed i can usually take 5 minutes and look at a news aggregator that takes things from a bunch of different sources and get an idea of what's going on in the world and then move on to the much more important news channel of my own life because consider if i'm paying attention to my own life if i am for instance taking care of my health that's going to reduce the chances that i go to the hospital and become a burden on our health system I could be fighting for some different kind of healthcare system in the United States, but if I play my part in being as healthy as I possibly can, then I reduce that burden on everybody. What if I tune into my life and I make sure that I am as emotionally balanced as I can be today by taking a morning meditation, by going through anything that I feel like is really bothering me and then looking at it before I go and attack somebody well then I might treat my neighbors differently I might start to foster some unity some connection instead of division in my actions in my words what if instead of tuning into whatever fox or cnn or whatever I look and I say this food that I'm eating maybe I'm going to use the internet to find out where that food is sourced Is that come from slave labor or is it coming from a fair trade program where farmers are being paid well and they're really watching out for slavery based labor well then just by choosing a different chocolate bar i might be making a difference i could go on and on with examples but the point is that if we look at our own life as the most important news channel then we start to look at our own life differently give more awareness and attention to it and as we do that it actually benefits 
the whole society. So my urging today is that if and when you find yourself being drawn back to check that news source again, maybe stop and say, is there a more important one, more important news channel? And it's this one right here. This might be paying attention to the people in your life, maybe attend attending to your mental, emotional state currently. It might be being here with the land, if you're planting or you're harvesting. I hope some of you find this helpful and share with me in the comments if you resonate with this and if you have found yourself drawn in towards those news sources and how you prevented yourself from becoming an addict. All right, my friends, so much love to you all. Can't wait to talk with you in the comments.